I bought a pressure washer to finally be able to wash my car, um, cars, uh, whenever we want. Um, you know, using the hose is okay at times, but decided to go. I decided to go ahead and get a pressure washer. Um, so I got the Sun Joe pressure washer. It's uh, 2000, 2030. Um, PSI at uh, 101.76 gallons per minute. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and unbox it, show you real quick, and then we'll go ahead and uh, wash my car with it. So you can see it pretty much comes put together um, out of the box. The wheels are on. Uh, you don't have to do anything else. Um, you know, the hose is attached, the reel. Um, so really the only thing you have to do is attach uh, the filter right here and then put your hose together and you're pretty much ready to go. Here's your manual. Make sure you read that. So you know what you're doing. So there's some assembly wire required. So here's just a trigger guard or the trigger holder. So you're just gonna slide this on right here. Provide you with screws so on the back side. So you want it tight, not too tight. It is plastic being screwed in. Got the piece is going to go down here. Now that you have this piece in, this is just for the tip holder. Just slides in. There's two holes and then your last screw. This one's probably going to be a little bit more difficult. assembled. Um, all you need to do now is go ahead and attach your filter and then uh, attach your hose. This goes like this. The green is going to be out. You want it tight but not too tight. So you can go ahead and remove it if you ever want to or some, you need to, you know, some clearance. So we'll go ahead and remove that. So next. Let's get that out of the way. So now I'm just going to go ahead and put these on up here. I'm just going to go ahead and put soap first. And then just by the varying degrees. Um, this on may never use because this is mainly going to be used on vehicles and uh, jet is not going to do well for the paint of a vehicle. So I'll probably be using this most of the time, maybe the soap, um, but I did get a foam cannon so this may never even be used either. Alright so now I'm just going to go ahead and so now it's just going to be the attachment for the hose, this, you screw on, that's just going to screw on, quick releases right here for your attachments, there you go, next, this the hose, and just screws on to right here, 
and these you just want to make sure that they're tight so they don't come off and create that a good seal so there Leave it there for now until I'm ready to go ahead and start using it. First, when you're about to use it, um, just make sure you turn the water on first and then go ahead and start the pump. Get this cap on. I'm not going to be using this uh, detergent. Um, I don't I, Like I said, I have a, a snow cannon, so I'll be using that. Um, once you turn on the So just went ahead, just went ahead and got, got everything pressurized. So now you're, you're ready to go ahead and use this. All right, so this is our Tahoe. Just showing you a kind of quick overview. Um, just a lot of dust uh, over the vehicle. So we'll be washing that off. Just rinsing all the dirt off, I'm trying to get any thing that's stuck, road grime, tree sap, uh, whatever, uh, whatever you can see. So this pressure washer was doing a really good job at that. It was knocking everything out fairly easily. There was a few things I had to get kind of close on to get it knocked down. was obviously the one that had the most grime on it so just had to get close to a few things to get everything that I needed off. So this is the soap I'm going to be using. So I'm going to fill up this bucket and then I'm going to get the foam cannon ready. And then, um, so I did get order new buckets and hopefully those come in soon. I'll put the link to it in the bottom description. Um, I think it was only like $16, $17 um, and it did really, really good. Uh, produced a nice thick foam. Uh, so the one thing about the Sunjo um, that you just saw was the hose is not long enough. So I had to keep moving, moving the unit, which was annoying um, and I, di I didn't realize that the hose was only I believe it's 25 feet long so right now I'm just going over just the little detail areas uh, getting the tires done and the wheels um, just trying to clean all that dust break off and everything trying to get behind the doors the door handles and then cleaning the little grate on the front of the vehicle and then also all the other emblems and everything else that uh, little cracks and crevices that the mitt is not going to get
sun started coming out, so I had to rush trying to get the soap on and so it doesn't dry too much on the vehicle while I was before I was able to rinse it all off. Rinsing off the vehicle was very easy, very quick. Just trying to get it uh, into all the crevices to make sure there was no soap stuck behind anything. Uh, rinsing the top off to make sure that I get everything from the top to the front so I could just go ahead and rinse the front off and not have to worry about the soap or if there was leftover soap going to the back or anywhere else on the vehicle. off was very easy with this unit uh, again the only thing that was bad was the hose length I wasn't uh, expecting it to be that short so uh, I'm not sure what I'll do I'll probably buy a new one I am using the chemical guys uh, wooly drying towel um, it did really really good uh, I was surprised how easily was to dry. The only bad thing um, was that it was leaving uh, little fibers of the micro microfiber there. Um, I was I'm not sure if that was just because it was really the first use of it, and I didn't wash it before, which I should have. Um, so I just did wash it. And I'll try again, uh, but it did really really good. Uh, here I'm using also Chemical Guys glass cleaner. Uh, this was also really really good left the windows streak free and was easy to get done